Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the C-130J and we're looking at the radios and boy does this aircraft have a lot of radios at the time of making this video. It has at least 13 external radios and various intercom radios. We're going to try and keep things relatively simple today by mainly concentrating on the main four radios, the UHFs and the VHFs. So first let's understand which radios this aircraft has. It has two external UHF radios. They are both independent ANARC-164s. Each of them has a frequency range of 225 to 400 megahertz, and that's amplitude modulation. Next, there are two independent VHF radios, both ANARC-222s. Each has twin band, lower band 30 megahertz to 88 megahertz, upper band 116 megahertz to 174 megahertz AM again. Then, for over-the-horizon radioing, there is high-frequency radios, two independent ANARC-190s. There is also a single SATCOM radio, an ANARC-210 with an independent header in the cockpit. Next, there are two ANARN-153 TACAN radios, two ANARN-147 VOR radios, two ADF-462 ADF radios, plus a splattering of intercom radios. So, I promise we're going to keep this simple, and I will, don't worry viewers, today we are at this airfield here, and we need to talk to the tower. All you got to do is make sure the airfield is blue, which I've done, and then click on it, and you'll see the frequencies here. Well, that's an old style frequency, I don't want to work in that. That's an old style frequency, I don't want to work in that. I want to work in a new style upper VHF band, that's 118.600 MHz AM. And in the ultra high frequency range, the tower is 250.200 MHz AM. So I'm going to grab those two frequencies. That's what I'm going to try and talk to the tower on today. Put them in my knee pad, and then we'll get in the aircraft. Before we get in the aircraft, some of these radios can have preset frequencies, the UHF and the VHFs. So we click on our aircraft, which is here. We click on that sign there. We can have up to 20 presets for the UHFs and 10 presets for the VHF. So let's just go and pull something out of our hat. Let's say channel three on the UHFs we want to make compatible with the tower. So as we just saw, that's 250.200. And the VHFs, let's just choose at random channel four. Let's make that 118.600 megahertz as per the tower. We're gonna come out of there. I'm gonna save it before we forget. Yes, and jump in the cockpit. And in we go. Now, the first thing we have to do is make sure that our radios are turned on. Uh, they are controlled through the CNI here. We have to make sure our CNI is on the power up menu. If it wasn't for some reason, let's just scramble it over there. Whoops. Then we go to index and we go to power up and we get back to power up. Let me make sure my throttle is off and it is. Um, all we have to do is make sure that this is turned on. So we double press it there if nothing changes then you know it's already turned on and it will be on from hot start and you'll probably remember to do it from a cold start as well but just in case you don't and the radios don't work that's because you need to turn that on okay next let's look at the various places in the cockpit where the radios are controlled from there are four places at the moment excluding navigation that is the first panel is this ICS control intercom system control I'm gonna try and navigate my head in a slightly better position what we got here is the control of all of the radios all radios are turned on as long as that guy's on there but not all are active to make a radio active we have to find the radio we want let's say h1 that's high frequency one we need to right click we'll bring it up that's the radio activated left click that's the radio deactivated if the radio is activated we can use mouse scroll wheel to turn the volume up well i don't really want h1 on because i've got nothing to do with it i don't want that on uh, I've got basic intercom here, I do want on and it is already on, you can see if it's on because you can see a little band around the outside and turn it up. Uh, PA is one of the intercoms to broadcast to and from uh, members in the actual aeroplane itself and I don't particularly want it on and that's the associated gain. Intercom is uh, it's fairly similar to PA. Our VHF radio 1 and 2, you can see I've got one turned on. Uh, wow. You have to be careful what I say, it's not turning it on, it's activating it. So one is active and I've got it turned on, two, I might as well make it active in case I want to use it and turn that on as well. SAT, uh, which is the ARC210, I haven't got it on and I don't intend to use it. 
PBT, we haven't managed to find out what PBT is. It's not in the manual yet, and it will probably never be a thing. I would ignore that for now. The same with Vox HM, not a thing at the moment. On to our more mainstream radios, UHF-1, that's on, and turn that up, and um, UHF-2, turn that, oh, sorry, activate that, and scroll that so uh, the volume is high as well. We've also got a master volume here. If you don't know where to put it, just max it up to crank it up to maximum. In terms of actually transmitting on a chosen radio, we have a temporary rocker here, so we can temporary rocker right, temporary rocker left. If we rock a right, we'll transmit on an external radio. If we rock a left, we'll transmit on a selected intercom. Speaking of intercom, there are various uh, methods of talking to the guys in the actual aircraft. We can call, which means a priority call, which makes it louder and dulls down any other radios. Remember, I've turned all these radios on, loads of these radios on. You could be literally listening to six different radio sources coming in, and that's why you need all this control. If you want to say something that you must get through, put it on call, okay? Now this stuff isn't modelled at the moment, but it might be at some point, so we'll cover it anyway. Basic intercom, no bias. Um, Vox means that you don't need to press the button to talk on the intercom, you can just talk and it will pick your voice up. Hot mic means that the mic is always on and it will you don't have to press anything and it will always be uh, transmitting. Next and much more importantly is our radio selector. Which radio do we want to select to use? Our PA, uh, you know, into aircraft, our intercom, into aircraft, UHF-1, UHF-2, UHF, uh, VHF-1, high frequency, SATCOM and PVT that we don't know what it is. You can only transmit on one radio at a time and let's start on UHF-1. So remember, that's where you control which radio you're talking on. Uh, panel 2 is our, uh, if we can find it there, our CNBP, which is this guy here. This gives us quick access to our radio, so if we press COM there, it gives us a little bit of functionality and quick access. It's just the easy way of uh, doing the radios. If I move my head down now, we're back to our CNI. This is the main way of accessing our radios. We'll go over all of this, obviously. Finally, we've got the ARC210, if I can find it, which is back there. That does our SATCOM, and it does actually work if you want to go and turn it on, which I'm probably not going to be able to do in this position here, can I? There we go, and you can do your stuff, but I'm not going to do that today. Uh, we can start using the radios. Let's start with the CNBP, uh, first of all, up here, easy mode and let's put it there so we're going to try deliberately talking on a frequency that is wrong just to show you that it won't work if i use the wrong frequency caveat i should have shown this in the, at the beginning but, and i'll uh, interlay something now just to show you but for any of this to work you must make sure that your options your game options are on easy communications turned off because if it's turned on then it will actually bypass all of the radio modeling and make it arcade mode where basically you don't have to do anything you can just speak and it magically works so easy communications must be forced off on the mission and ideally in your main game options as well uh, next uh, let's go and look at controls the first control we're going to show is probably just the basic way to get the communications menu up obviously it's that one there communications menu let's press the communications menu I'll try and highlight it against something dark at the top right so you can uh, see it a little easier thinking about it so all oh, right let's try and talk to ATC deliberately with the wrong radio we've got UHF 1 at the moment and it's the wrong frequency so ATC there you go there you go and uh, I've got my easy communications turned off Okay, he's not responding, obviously. There you go. Uh, we're going to change th uh, the frequency on here. You can't use the preset, but you can use basic frequency input. So this shows UHF-1, 2, VHF-1, 2, high frequency 1, 2. So if I want to change it, well, what I want to change it to, I want to change it to 250, 250, decimal 200. Zero, zero. Let's plug it on UHF-2, just as an interesting test. It's now 250. Uh, but we need to tell it to actually use that. So let's go down here. That's UHF. Whoopsie. Let's go UHF 2. Check. But now we need to make sure that radio is turned on. It's lifted up and it's rotated. That should work. I'm aware this is extremely early access, but let's see if it works. So we're going to go to communications menu. Can you see up there? It says UHF 2. That's the one we've chosen now. ATC. This airfield here. Go. Hey, hey. It worked. How about that? Let's try another one. Um, so. Uh, what do we want to try? Should we try a VHF one for the lols? And um, let's see if we can do that. So this may go funky. Let's try it. 8.600. Let's go UHF one. Check. 
Uh, let's go in VHF1, make sure VHF1 is turned on and it is, it's, it's uh, uh, selected, comms menu VHF1, abort. Enfield, abort takeoff. Enfield, crack into the car. Ta-da! Uh, next, onto the CNI. That's the last bit, and obviously it's going to be the most, most complex bit. So, obviously, you're going to press COM tune here. What we've got here is our main six external radios, UHFs, the VHFs, and the high frequencies. They're current uh, ident, so uh, these are blank at the moment, and those are turned off. We've got the preset channel they've currently got selected here, and we've got the frequency that they've currently got selected here. Note between some of them is a sm slightly smaller number. That is the secondary number. Um, I'm going to figure out how to try and explain that in a second as I go. Um, in fact, let me try and explain that. So UHF2 here, we've got preset 3, which is 250.200, which we typed in. But when it does that, it saves the old one as a backup or a secondary, and that's that one there. If I'm going to switch between backup and main, I just press that there, and it will also change in the panel above as well, obviously, and put it back there. Next, if I want to uh, change a frequency, in fact, before we change frequencies, why don't we go into options? So uh, each channel has its own tune. Uh, each radio story so let's go and do tune UHF1 and we've got a whole bunch of stuff here a bit more information here but critically we can turn the power on and off obviously we're going to keep the power on that's in case you want to de-energize one radio fully we can turn on guard allowing us to transmit and monitor guard that's 243 for a UHF radio we can turn that on there or we can turn it off here uh, how do we want to use the radio do we want to use it for automatic direction finding that's navigation just the main transmission receive channel or the main transmission and receive channel and guard monitoring and transmission if you go to guard monitoring and transmission there it will default to both there it's all very boring stuff viewers uh, whether we want noise squelching on as standard it's on whether you want it off whether that's going to make any difference in this game i don't know but there and you've got a test tone there which we don't want on uh, let's go back up to com index next let's show how to change the frequencies it's probably as simple as you can imagine so I want to change UHF 1 now do something with UHF 1 uh, I don't know 266 decimal 8 type it in there done one more thing to show you how to change to the uh, preset frequencies that we set in the mission editor it's pretty easy if I want to change to preset 1 I just type in 1 and I go there and it's changed to preset 1 305 that shows everything we know about the radars uh, radars about the radios um, and what to do with them or maybe come back with satcom and high frequency at some point but you're probably never going to use it i hope that was useful and bye bye